Away from the Alps, the Swiss countryside is a medley of rolling hills and woodland. The centre of the country is mostly farmland and during the winter months it's blanketed in snow. But when the warmer weather arrives and the snow melts, livestock reappear on the lush pastures and the hillsides come back to life. And it's at this time when the people of Switzerland play their national sport of Hornesson. Described as a combination of baseball and golf, Hornesson is played between two teams of 18 members each. The playing area consists of a raised batting platform which is situated in front of a strip of grass around 300 metres long and between 8 and 14 metres wide. Linus Englin has been playing Hornesson since he was nine years old. To start with, in this sport you have the stick, which you use when you are batting. The stick itself is usually made of carbon fibre, and on the top of it you have the treff. The treff is a piece of smooth wood, which is what actually strikes the hornus. Each of the fielding players has a schindler, which looks like a pizza baking shovel. Then you have the bock, which is the metal rail on which you place the hornus. It's firmly embedded in the ground. And finally, you have the hornus itself. It's small and made of plastic and weighs 72 grams. The exact origins of this sport are unknown. Some think it was developed from a battle tactic, where soldiers would hit stones into the enemy's camp. Others suggest that it was a forerunner to modern-day golf. The first known mention of Hornesson was in the 17th century. Records show that a Swiss parish church admonished some of its congregation for playing the game on a Sunday. In those days, Hornesson was associated with drinking and brawling and was frowned upon by the establishment. Today, however, it's no longer seen as a roguish pastime. Hornesson has changed, and things are obviously different now. It's viewed just like any other sport. It's played by amateurs, but the amount of people playing it has increased. The sports infrastructure is much better now, and no one can deny that it's a legitimate sport. It's certainly much more acceptable, and a lot less rowdy than it was in the olden days. The aim for the batting team is to hit the Hornus and land it on the playing strip. The fielders take up positions at 10 metre intervals and, with their shindles, they attempt to stop the Hornus from landing. A point is scored for every 10 metres that the Hornus travels after the first 100 and a goal is scored if it lands on the strip directly. Goals are more important than points, but they are rare. In the event of an equal number of goals, or none at all, the team with the most points wins. Each player gets two hits per inning, and two innings per team make up a match. Marco Roos is a multiple national champion. It's great that Hornesson is considered the Swiss national sport. It's heavily rooted in family tradition and it's specific to the region. I don't think I would have ever played Hornesson if my father hadn't done so, or at least I wouldn't be that good at it. In some areas of Switzerland, it's a great source of pride if you're good at the sport. Hitting the Hornus requires a combination of strength and technique. For the fielding team, excellent eyesight is needed to spot the Hornus, which can reach speeds of well over 300 kilometers per hour. Despite being the national sport and one of few with uniquely Swiss roots, Hornesson does struggle for popularity in this country. 
Hornose kann man bei uns in der Schweiz. You obviously can't compare Hornosen to say ice hockey or football in terms of popularity. Hornose ist eine Traditionssportart. Hornosen is a traditional sport. It's all about friendship and a sense of sporting camaraderie. We accept that it's never going to be as popular as other sports. Stefan Eilig is the captain of his team. I believe that it's important for our country to keep its local customs alive. Sports like Hunnison can play an important role in this. I feel that the sport should be supported and embraced so that we don't forget the old traditions. I have some friends who play Hornussen and some who don't. Those who don't all show an interest, often ask whether an important game has taken place and how it went. They actually ask a lot about it, considering that they don't play the game themselves. It's always a great pleasure to tell them about it and what our results have been. After the game, it's also a tradition for the players from both sides to have some food and refreshments. The Hornison community is a close one, and taking the time to socialise with the opposition is an important part of the sports culture. During the playing season, we train at least twice a week, and on weekends, we get together for the games. It's time-consuming as a sport if you play on a regular basis, but it's always nice to get together with your friends and teammates and socialise. I also enjoy the social side of it. It's a counterbalance to my working life. It helps me to relax and unwind, and I get to spend some time outside, surrounded by nature. The Hornusen crowd are a unique bunch of people. It's fascinating as you have different generations and people from all sorts of professions playing together on one team. There's farmers, pharmacists, craftsmen, office managers, fathers and sons, all playing together. You get to meet interesting people and you wouldn't get that anywhere else.